I need y'all to quit whining about Lego prices. All right, I'm included in that. But before we talk about Lego prices, we're going to talk about good old-fashioned hate. What is hate? In some cases, it could mean just to love something a little less. In other cases, it can mean you just can't stand the sight of it like anything like vomit or broccoli or whatever food you don't like. But I'm talking about, well, not hate speech, although some people think it is hate speech to speak the truth. It is not. I'm talking about hating high prices. <laughs> No, actually, I'm talking about this. This is actually not Lego, so please don't be hating on the video. There will be Lego in this video. This is the Atlanta Falcons helmet. And there is irony with this, not ironing, irony, in that this helmet was purchased in Louisiana. And if anybody knows about the rivalry, the hatred that... New Orleans Saints fans who are in Louisiana and Atlanta Falcons fans in Georgia have. It's just one of the biggest rivalries in the NFL from two of the teams that aren't really the top tier teams normally, although in the last couple of decades it's been a lot better. Uh, it is always, I mean, even before I started liking football, I knew about the rivalry between the Saints and the Falcons. And the irony of this being purchased in Louisiana by a Saints fan. <laughs> For me, I you know I I sent the funds. Mardi Gras man is the one who bought it. He found it. I cannot find this here in Georgia. He found it in Louisiana, <laughs> and he sent it to me a while back. But I just now actually I think it was even last football season that he got it. But I just built it over the last two or three days, and this is a Brixel. This is the company that doesn't like vowels, and this is the helmet. And if you're a person that's like having a really good day and you need a little extra stress in your life, you're like, I, you come home from work, and you're like, you know what? I had a good day at work. There was no stress. I need some stress. I recommend building one of these Brixel sets because um, this actually starts off really, really, really bad, but it does get better. <laughs> but this, um, this front part was so annoying, it kept falling apart. In fact, it's even not straight right now. I just got tired of fixing it. But the helmet actually turned out pretty good. For, and so for a knockoff of nanoblocks. This Brixel company, I'm assuming they have legitimate licensing. I don't really know. I mean, this is the Atlanta Falcons logo all over this thing. It was sold in Target stores, which apparently is not illegal. I'll show you the box. So there it is. Brixel. <laughs> Brixel is and by Foco.com. I can't even say that word. I don't even know what that means. 1,490 pieces. Uh, but yeah, I built this. Uh, I do like this piece, and okay, it's not Lego. So what? Why am I showing you something here on my channel that's not Lego, and talking about hate? Well, I did get the comments. Somebody said I was accusing me of hate speech for telling you it's illegal to buy Lepin, and that you shouldn't buy Lepin. Well, Lego <laughs> has confirmed what I've been trying to tell people. So arrests have been made in South Korea. I'll put a link to this article here. Uh, this on legos.com website lego.com did i just say legos oh i just got struck by lightning anyway who cares yes yeah, so it in south korea a seller of the illegal product known as lepin has been caught i don't i don't i don't think the punishment is like overly severe or anything but it is this is a clearly counterfeit product lepin whereas something like this I don't think this is a counterfeit, even though it is a clear copy of nanoblock technology. Uh, I, I'm a, you know, somebody in the comments tell me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this wouldn't have been allowed in. Yeah, I don't think this would have been allowed in the U.S. But so one of the reasons that people justify purchasing Lepin, and I'm not talking about clone bricks like Mega Blocks or other legitimate companies there's nothing wrong with buying those products it's a personal preference uh, i know some lego people that think they're lego purists say you shouldn't or you shouldn't mix them but uh, that's all personal choice i mean if in most of the shows that you go to they do want you to be exclusively lego products but then they allow other things that are clearly customs like modifying bricks stickers strings 
electronics and other <laughs> lights and things that are non-Lego products. They'll allow that, but they won't allow a mega block, which to me, uh, I used to be the same way, but as I've gotten older, I've realized it really doesn't make any sense. But one of the biggest complaints about Lego is the price. And I agree that, and, you know, the prices are high, especially for new Lego. And that's why I have not bought several sets that I really want really bad, like the new trains, the new Duplo trains, the new regular Lego trains, uh, some Star Wars sets I want. And I did a whole mention of this in just a recent video, talking about the different sets I want to buy, but I can't really get them right now because they are very expensive. But I do know that Almost all of them, at some point, unless they're just an exclusive uh, item, they will be cheaper at some point, whether on Amazon or even on Lego website. But the, the whole complaint, I want people to stop whining about Lego prices because you can find deals <laughs> on Lego. And I had all these uh, Goodwill, shopgoodwill.com auctions I was going to show you and I didn't realize that after a week if it was just in your watch list and you didn't actually bid on it, it disappears. So unfortunately I don't have those. There was a bunch of auctions that I watched, didn't bid on. Some of them went for less than $10. And some of them had some incredible lots. Uh, I'm talking lots with several sealed items, uh, vintage items, so there were some old soccer sets. Uh, that I could have bid on. Um, there were some sets that I bid on, like one that had the World and Wheel Super Truck that I didn't win, uh, the Tower Bridge I didn't win, all of these things well below retail price and really awesome deals. And it is very, it's not common that you're going to find super, super awesome deals like that on shopgoodwill.com, but you, they can be found. So the, the argument that you have to go buy a counterfeit product because otherwise you can't get it. Um, you know, it's just, it's bogus. I mean, it, you may not get the exact set you want, but you can find really good sets at really good prices. You can just do a little legwork and look at places like shopgoodwill.com, even eBay, and especially yard sales, estate sales, and things like this. I'm going to open this bag. Ugh. Ugh, I need a hulk here. What do we have in this bag? One of the things I mentioned was eBay, and sometimes you can just find good deals, especially if you know what you're looking for. And that is what we have here. What is this? This is something that is actually very well packed by the seller. Oh good, I could use this bubble wrap. See what the box says right there? Cat Mosaic. Isn't that neat? So it is the box K34431, the Cat Mosaic. And he's ta he's retaped it. So this is one I think they bought, and I don't think they ever finished building it. Where's the other tape? There we go. Because it appears that all the bags are still sealed. So I don't know how many of the bags it's supposed to have. I don't know. It's possible that some of the bags could be missing. And the instruction sheet is missing. He did say that in the listing. Doing a quick search. This is the border pieces. It's got the old gray brick separator in there. And if you don't know about Lego mosaics, uh, you get a 48 by 48 light gray base plate. You got five colors, white, very light gray, light gray, dark gray, and black. And it makes a black and white mosaic. And this one is the cat. And he doesn't have the instructions. And the mosaics are one of those that is actually, mosaics is probably the easiest to make a copy of the instructions because literally the instructions is eight and a half by 11 white piece of paper with a color by numbers type grid on it and yet nobody has uploaded any of these i can't find any of these really at all uploaded but i am going to get a copy uh, it won't be an original i'm going to get a copy from someone had to pay for it didn't want to do that but that's the only way i could get it right now but anyway talking about price i got this for they had the 15 percent off deal so it was like $60 with 15% off. <laughs> the part out value 
is over $325, not including the instructions. So $325 of value. I could literally just put all these one by one in my stores and it would increase the value of my inventory by 325 that's if I went at the last six months average if you look at what people are asking average it's more like four hundred and fifty dollars that I got for less than sixty pretty good deal so stop whining about Lego prices start looking for the deals look at all the people that do YouTube videos showing their yard sale finds their some of their eBay finds even some of their estate sale finds, some of their goodwill finds, some of their thrift store finds. And one thing in my um, lug that I'm not a member of, but I'm still in the Facebook group, I, I still they still, one of the things they like to do is post their thrift store finds. And they are always finding amazing deals, even on some older vintage stuff that people uh, bring into the store. So, you know, some things you can hate. Don't hate Lego prices. The way that the solution to that is to not buy. If you think the new set, this really awesome set that's out, costs too much, guess what? You don't have to buy it. You can go to alternative builds. That's okay. Just don't buy counterfeit items because in some countries it's illegal and it can get people arrested usually the sellers not necessarily the buyers but anyway that's my video that's my it's, I wouldn't call this a rant it's not hate speech to say it's illegal to buy leopard it's fact thanks for watching this video I'm Briggsar